What is going on guys, Paul James here. Google My Business is actually going away. And I'm gonna to explain to you exactly everything that is happening with this change. So make sure you watch the entire video so that you can catch up to speed on what's going on. So as you can see from the title of this article, Google My Business, now known as Google Business Profile, as Google migrates features to Maps and Search. So there's a new update that is coming out that is essentially going to remove the Google My Business platform as you know it. So let's go through here and check this out. As you can see, another new name. Those of you who've been following along with me for a while, you've probably been with me back from the time when it was called Google Local. One of my very, very first videos that I've ever put out, even on this channel here, you can probably go back and find it, was on that platform, Google Local. And you know, after that, they rolled out Google Places. Some of you might remember when it was a three pack. Then Google Plus Local came along. That's when they wanted to try and turn it into a social network. Well, Google Plus was a failure as you know, so it didn't work out. And then they switched it over to Google My Business, which is the name that has kind of stuck for a long time now. Until now, you can see they're getting rid of it and we are switching over to something new called the Google Business Profile. So that's why whenever I'm talking about the platform, I typically just refer to it as Maps because seven pack, three pack, Google Plus Loco, Google Logo, Google Places, like it just all changes so many times. So let's go through exactly what this change is going to entail so that you know what to expect. So Google My Business is going away. And what that means is essentially it's the interface that you interact with the Maps platform on when you're making changes to your listing. So if you see your listing on, you wanna update your hours, your address, your phone number, that interface, the Google My Business interface, is going away. So right now, there's a web interface and there's also a mobile app. Those apps are going to be gone. So Google is making it clear that with this update, they wanna let people, they wanna let individuals anyways, edit their listings directly within the search results or within the Google Maps results. So no longer do they want individuals using that console. However, for people that manage multiple listings, like maybe you and I, you can still interact with these listings if you have clients or if you have a business but you have multiple locations, you're gonna be able to interact with it under this new thing which is called the Google Business Profile. So we'll find out exactly what it's gonna look like, what it's gonna entail. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, turn notifications on if you want me to kind of keep you updated on these changes as they roll out. I'm assuming that it probably won't be anything too drastic may even just be a name change. We'll kind of see what happens with that. So Google said that the existing Google My Business web experience will transition to primarily support larger businesses with multiple locations and will be renamed the Business Profile Manager. If we come down here, it says there's gonna be some new features that are gonna roll out as well. You're gonna be able to claim and verify your Google Business Profile directly in Google Search and Google Maps. We're gonna have some sort of call history, some sort of messaging that's going to be able to be done from within the, the app. Uh, message read receipts can be controlled in Google Search and Google Maps. Other than that, it looks like there's going to be a performance planner that's coming out as well, which is going to allow you to keep track of your and plan budgets with your local ads, so your Google local ads. And you can kind of see, I guess there's some screenshots here of what this looks like. So anyways, that is the gist of everything that is going on. I think that about wraps it up. So I am going to keep tabs on what is going on with this and I will update you along the way. Again, if you wanna stay updated on everything to do with Google My Business, now switching to Google Profile, Google Business Profile, then again, be sure to subscribe, turn notifications on and uh, I will definitely keep tabs on this and keep you guys updated along the way. Anyways, thanks for watching this video today. I will see you in another video. I am Paul James. Peace out.